I think also that uh, our categories are not directly linked to the economy. You know, it's more about the appetite of consumers and especially of uh, young consumers, you know, the, the millennials, the, the young generation of, of Chinese uh, are, are really have a strong appetite for our kind of products, for beauty, for makeup, for skincare, for luxury beauty. So, uh, and, and consumption in, in China on many aspects is still rising. So, for us, for the moment, uh, the, it's still very, very strong. And I'm pretty confident that it could go on. You think it's going to go on, even though the Chinese economy, as we said, is, is slowing down slightly? You, you, you think in 2020 yeah. you can carry on with your momentum? Yeah, there. I hope so. And uh, yeah, because also, you know, the, the, the beauty is generally pretty immune to uh, slowing down of the economy or, or even some time of, uh, of a crisis. So, uh, so we are confident and, and anyway also we are fueling the growth. You know, it's not <clears throat> something that just comes by chance. It's also because we are investing, we are investing in media, in digital, in e-commerce in order to reach more and more uh, consumers. You know, the, the, at the end of the day, until now, we tap in a limited uh, reservoir of, uh, of consumers and, and the, the, the possibilities of expansion are still infinite. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.